Hi guys! My video for today is about problems involving regular polygons. Regular polygon is defined as a polygon in which all sides and angles are congruent. Now, we can illustrate regular polygons using illustrations here. So we can illustrate a regular polygon using a square with all of the angles here are congruent and all of the sides are congruent. So square is an example of a regular polygon and we have here another example, a regular hexagon. So all of the sides here measures 3 centimeters and all of the angle measures 120 degrees. So this is what you meant by regular polygons. In my last video, I have discussed that the sum of the measures of interior angles of a polygon is given by the formula S equals quantity of N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Since we are talking here of a regular polygon, we can find the measures of each interior angles by dividing the sum of the interior angles by the number of sides. So we can find the measures of each angle of a regular polygon, measures of each angle equivalent to the sum which is n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by the number of sides. It's because the measurements of each interior angles of a regular polygon is equal or congruent. So again, uh, to find the measures of each angle of a regular polygon, you will just divide the sum n minus 2 times 180 by the number of sides n. Example number 1. Find the measure of each angle of a uh, regular dodecagon. So this angle means interior angle. So find the measures of each interior angle. We're going to divide the sum, which is n minus 2 times 180 by the number of sides n. Now, dodecagon, this has 12 sides, so we're going to have 12 minus 2 times 180 divided by 12. So 12 minus 2 will be 10. Then 10 times 180, that will be 1,800. Then divided by 12. So 1,800 divided by 12 is equal to 150 degrees. So the... Measurements of each angle of a regular dodecagon is equivalent to 150 degrees. Example number 2. Find the number of sides of a regular polygon whose interior angle measures 144 degrees. So the same with number 1. We can solve this one using the formula. The measure of each interior angle This is for the regular polygon. It's equivalent to the sum, which is given by n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by the number of sides n. Now, it's given here that the measurement of each interior angle of the given polygon is 144 degrees. So, we're going to substitute this one in the left side. So, we're going to have here 144 degrees. Then, this is equal to n minus 2 times 180 is 180 n, then negative 2 times 180 is negative 360. This will be over n. Then, cross multiply, we're going to have 144 degree n equals 180 n minus 360. So cross multiply. Then, uh, transpose 180 and the left side. So, we're going to have 144n minus 180n equals negative 360. Now, 144 minus 180, that will give us 
negative 36n this is equal to negative 360 then dividing both sides by negative 36 we can get n equals 10 therefore the number of sides of the regular polygon is 10 example number 3 Find the number of sides of a regular polygon whose exterior angle measures 24 degrees. Now, to illustrate exterior angle, let's have a regular triangle or equilateral triangle. Now, equilateral triangle or equiangular triangle has 60 degrees interior angles. So, all of the interior angle measures 60 degrees. Now, Exterior angle will just extend this side here. This will be your exterior angle. Now, this one forms here a linear pair. And a linear pair sum up to 180 degrees. So, if you are going to have a regular triangle, the interior angle is 60 and the exterior angle here is 120. That will be 180 minus 60. Because the, this one forms a linear pair. So this is 120 degrees. Therefore, if we're going to solve problem number 3, the exterior angle is 24, meaning to get the interior angle, we're going to have 180 minus 24. This will be your interior angle. Then 180 minus 24, the result here is 156 so the interior angle of the given regular polygon is 156 degrees now in here we can now solve the problem using the formula uh, interior angle or the measure of the interior angle will be equal to the sum n minus 2 times 180 divided by n so, the interior angle is 156 degrees. Then, this is equal to 180 and then minus 360. Then, this is over N. Then, the same with number 2. We're going to cross multiply. 156 times N is 156 N. Then, this will be equal to the same because this is 1 here. So, 180 n minus 360 then transpose 180 n to the left side so we're going to have 156 n minus 180 n equals negative 360 then 156 n minus 180 n this is equivalent to negative 24 n equals negative 360 then dividing both sides by negative 24, this is n here, and this is equal to 15. Negative 360 divided by negative 24 is 15. So for our answer, we are going to have n equals 15. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.